Hey, what's up, everyone? I am Shade. Thank you so much for joining me for our mini yoga flow. And for today's yoga flow, we are going to work on a really nice beginner's flow. So feel free to grab any blocks, any props that you need for your practice, any water. And let's go ahead and get started. We're going to actually begin in our child's pose. So take a moment for yourself here. Open your knees out, maybe mat with distance, or you can keep them closer together. And then reach your hips back towards your heels. Extend your arms forward. Let's take a moment to breathe together. Really allow yourself that exhale to release. Let some things go. And then go ahead, take a full breath for yourself. Inhale, breathe into your belly completely. And through the mouth, let it go. <sighs> Beautiful, everyone. Again, just like that full and deep inhale through your nose. Feel your body expand with your breath. And then again, through the mouth, let it go. <sighs> and take a few more breaths just like this on your own. Breathing in through your nose, letting your breath travel freely through your body, through your mind. And then taking that cleansing exhale through your mouth, allowing everything you don't need to release. Let's take one more just like that, everyone. Inhale through the nose. Through the mouth, let it go. <sighs> now that we brought our body some stillness, some ease, start to set your intention for your practice today, whatever that is for you. Whatever you're bringing in, letting go of, let it become a part of your practice. And then from here, start to enter some movement back into your body. Wiggle your toes, your fingers. Maybe you start to rock your head from side to side, releasing any tension in your neck, your upper body. Take a breath, full inhale. Breathe into what you feel. And exhale, staying in your child's pose. Start to walk your arms all the way towards the left side of your mat. Feel free to place your right palm on top of your left hand. And let's just start to stretch our side body. Notice if your hips are lifting up, press your right hip down. Continue to lengthen your arm over. Let's take a breath here, everyone. Full inhale. And exhale. Start to shuffle your arms all the way towards the opposite side. Place your left palm on top. Deep breath. Inhale here. And exhale. One more breath for yourself. Breathe into your left side. Inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. Start to extend your arms all the way forward. Begin to peel your body up. Let's come into tabletop. And we won't spend too much time here on our knees, but just to warm up our spine a little bit. Palms open up about shoulder width. Feet are going to open up about hip width, or knees open up hip width. And let's come into a few cat cows. So inhale, drop your belly down. Start to arch your spine. Really bend your elbows to press your shoulders back. Now exhale, curl everything in, chin to chest. Release the breath completely. Let's do that again, everyone. Full and deep inhale. Open up for your cow spine. Feel free to add the tucking of your toes here to deepen the arch. And then exhale, let it all go for a cat. Chin to chest. Release the breath. Do a few more like this on your own. Inhale to open up. And exhale to release. Notice where your body might be resisting to open with your breath and resisting to release. Last time, everyone, feel free to add any extra movement here. Maybe you roll out your shoulders. Inhale for your cow. And exhale, let it go for your cat. Reach the crown of your head forward on your next breath. Go ahead, tuck all 10 toes under. Press your palms down. Now lift your hips up into down dog. Hips up towards the ceiling. 
Drop your head heavy. Feel free to open your palms out about shoulder width. Feet are going to open up about hip width. And then start to enter some movement here in your first down dog. Maybe you pedal out your heels, one heel at a time, or maybe both. Taking this moment to notice what's showing up for you in your body. Notice your hips in this shape. Notice your hamstrings, even your lower back. Down dog really helps us to stretch our back body. So take a full breath here. Inhale through your nose. Through the mouth, let it go. <sighs> From your down dog, bend your knees. Start to arch your spine. Look all the way towards the top. Now begin walking towards the top, coming right into your forward fold. First forward fold of class. And you want to bend your knees a lot here for this first forward fold. This is going to help you to release your spine, release your lower back. Feel free to ragdoll here. Grab opposite elbows, rock from side to side. And really shake your head yes, shake it no, just so you know you're fully releasing your neck and your upper body. Let's go ahead and take a breath here, everyone. Inhale, breathe into your lower back. And then flutter your lips on the exhale. Let that soften your face. Let's do that again. Inhale, breathe into your body. And exhale. Release your arms down. Keep a bend in your knees. Let's start to roll all the way up, unraveling your spine. Sweep your arms out and up as you arrive. Take that full breath for yourself. And now come into your first back bend. Reach your arms up and back. Press your feet down as you shift your hips forward. Really let that open up your front body. And exhale, forward fold. Let it go. Release your spine. Let's take a full breath. Inhale, half lift. Reach the crown of your head forward. Walk your fingertips up towards your shins. Now go ahead. Press your shoulders back. Let that help you to lengthen your spine even more. Let's take a full breath here, everyone. Inhale. And exhale, forward fold, let it go. Bend your knees, step it back. Let's come into plank. Shoulders over your wrists, kick your heels towards the back. And then go ahead, take an exhale, let something go. Now full breath, inhale, press the ground. Stay for your exhale. All right, everyone, lower down, knees, chest, and then chin. Bending your elbows as you release. Then from here, untuck your toes. Let's lift up for baby cobra. Lengthen just your heart space up and forward. You want to feel as if you're pressing your mat behind you, fully engaging your upper back muscles. Full breath, everyone. Inhale, breathe into your body. And exhale, let it all go. Release. Start to shift your hips back. Come into your child's pose just to counter stretch your spine for a moment. And we'll take a full breath here. Inhale through your nose. Through the mouth. Let it go. <sighs> from down dog. Well, from child's pose, let's move back into down dog. So reach your hips back up towards your ceiling. Head is low and heavy. Take a reset breath here. Inhale through your nose. And through the mouth. Let it go. Now from down dog, sweep and extend your right leg up and back. And then you're going to go ahead and step your right foot through in between your hands. You're right in your low lunge. From your low lunge, drop your back knee down, untuck your toes. Let's lift up for low crescent lunge. Sweep your arms and chest high. Palms face each other. And you want to press your right foot down. Start to shift your hips forward. Maybe you come into a slight back bend here. Let's take a full breath. Inhale, breathe into your front left hip flexor. Open out. And exhale, release your palms down. Let's come into half split. This is a great shape if you have your blocks. Place your blocks on opposite sides of your foot. And then you're going to shift your hips back as you peel your toes up towards the ceiling. Really lengthen your spine over your right leg. Walk your blocks or your fingertips forward. And then allow yourself a moment to ease into this shape with your exhale. That's going to help you to soften the muscles. So take that exhale here for yourself. 
Now take a full breath. Inhale, breathe into what you feel. Stay for your exhale. Beautiful, everyone. Let's come back into our low lunge. For that, you're going to re-bend your right knee. Tuck your back toes to lift your knee off of your mat. And then step your left foot forward. We're in a forward fold at the top. Keep a bend in your knees. Start to roll all the way up, unraveling your spine. Sweep your arms out and up as you arrive. Take a full breath. Come right back in for your back bend. Reach your arms up and back. Exhale, forward fold. Let it all go. Release. We take a full breath. Inhale, half lift. Reach the crown of your head forward. Exhale, step it back. Let's come right back into plank. Now feel free to go into knees, chest, and then chin. But if you know the second chaturanga option, go right into that. For this one, you're going to shift your shoulders over your wrists one to two inches. Bend your elbows, hug them in towards your side. Now go ahead, untuck your toes, press into the tops of your feet, lift up for upward facing. Knees are lifted, arms are straight. Take a full breath. Exhale, hips high, down dog. Let it go. Let's take a breath here, everyone. Full and deep inhale through your nose. Through the mouth, let it go. Ha. Beautiful left side. Sweep and extend your left leg up and back. Lift through your heel. And then go ahead, step your left foot through in between your palms. You're right in your low lunge. From your low lunge, gently drop your back knee, untuck your toes. Let's come back into low crescent lunge. Sweep your arms and chest high. Really press your left foot down. Feel free to open it towards the left side of your mat to give your body some width. Now start to shift your hips forward and down. Open your front right hip flexor. Take a full breath here, everyone. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Lift up out of your hip. And exhale, release your palms down. Let's come into our half split. Shift your hips back, lengthen your left leg long. Peel your toes up towards the ceiling. Now for your half split, you don't need to have your leg completely straight. Feel free to keep a slight bend in your knee to protect the hamstring. But instead, walk your fingertips forward. Really lengthen your spine over your leg. You're doing amazing, everyone. Let's take a breath. Inhale, breathe into what you feel. Stay for your exhale. Taking your time, let's come back into low lunge. Rebend your left knee. Tuck your back toes to lift your knee off of your mat. Now you can step your right foot forward. You're at the top of your mat in your forward fold. Keep a bend in both of your knees. Start to roll all the way up, unraveling your spine. Sweep your arms out and up. Take a full breath here. Come right back in for your back bend. Reach your arms up and back. Now exhale, forward fold. Let it all go. Release completely. Take a full breath. Inhale, half lift. Lengthen your spine. Exhale, step it back. Go right into your flow of choice. That can be knees, chest, and then chin. Lifting up for upward facing or cobra. And then exhale, hips high, down dog. All right, everyone, let's take that reset breath. Full inhale through your nose. Through the mouth, let it go. We'll do one more flow here. From down dog, sweep and extend your right leg up and back. This time, start to open up the hips. Bend your right knee over your left side. Peel your knee up towards the ceiling. And feel free to add some movement here if that feels good. You can roll your knee around, maybe roll out your ankle. Scrunch your toes. And let's take a full breath. Inhale. And exhale. Re-extend your right leg up and back. Let's come right into our low lunge. Step your right foot in between your palms. Now from your low lunge, keep your back heel lifted high. Let's rise tall for a high lunge. Sweep your arms and chest up, palms face each other. Now what's gonna help you in your high lunge is you wanna squeeze your left glutes a lot to support you. Now walk your right foot towards the right side to have more width here. Beautiful, everyone, let's take a breath. Inhale, lengthen your spine. 
Stay for your exhale. We come into warrior two, chest and hips now face the side. You're going to press your back heel down. Make sure your back foot is completely parallel to the back of your mat. Right heel is in the center of your left foot. Now stack your shoulders over your hips. Allow your body to expand completely. Let's take that full breath. Inhale, breathe into what you feel. Allow your body to open. Stay for your exhale. Keep your right knee bent. Let's reverse the warrior. Sweep your right arm up and over. And the trick to reverse warrior is the lower you sit in your lunge, the more you'll be able to reach your right arm back, allowing you to stretch your right side body. Notice your back hand. If you're gripping your back leg, let go of some of that tension. Take a breath. And exhale, chaturanga. Let it all go. Beautiful, everyone. Release your palms down. Step your right foot back. And go right into your flow of choice. Taking that full and deep inhale, upward facing your cobra. And exhale, hips high, down and dog. Let's take a moment to reset. Inhale through your nose, through the mouth. Let it go. <sighs> Almost there, everyone. Inhale, sweep and extend your left leg up and back. And go ahead, start to open up your hips. Bend your left knee over your right side. Feel free to scrunch your toes, roll out your ankle here. Maybe just lubricate that hip joint a little bit. Now go ahead, full breath. Inhale, breathe into what you feel on this left side. And exhale. Re-extend your left leg up and back. Let's come right back into our low lunge. Step your left foot through. Keep your back heel lifted high. We rise up for a high lunge. Sweep your arms and chest up. Palms face each other. Take some time to adjust this left side any way that feels supportive for you in your body. And then take a breath. Once you found that adjustment, inhale. Allow yourself to settle in. Stay for your exhale. We open it back out to warrior two. Press your back heel down. Chest and hips open towards the side wall. And don't be afraid to take up space here on your mat. Walk your feet forward or walk your left foot forward and then sit lower in your lunge. This is going to fire up your quad muscle, but it's also allowing your body to open and expand a little bit further. Now breathe into what you are feeling in this shape. Full inhale. Stay for your exhale. Let's reverse our warrior, everyone. Sweep your left arm up and over, coming back into your side body. And really allowing your ribs to expand. That's helping us to breathe deeper into our lungs. Maybe you start to bind your back hand behind your back so that you can focus on your left side more. Take a breath. Inhale here. And exhale. Chaturanga. Let it go. Release your palms down. Step your left foot back and go right into your flow. Taking that full breath, everyone. Inhale, upward facing or cobra. And exhale, hips high, down dog. Let's take a breath, full and deep inhale through your nose. Through the mouth, let it go. <sighs> take a moment, everyone. Bend your knees, arch your spine, look forward. And then start to step towards the front, coming back into your forward fold. Keeping a bend in your knees, start to roll all the way up. Keep your arms down by your side. Take the time that you need to unravel. Keep your eyes closed. And just take a breath for yourself as you stand still in this standing shape. Really feel your feet root you down. Flip your palms to face forward. Now let's take a breath here. Start with your exhale to let something go. Now take a full and deep inhale. Fill up completely. And exhale. Beautiful, everyone. Bring your hands to meet heart center. Giving yourself gratitude for your practice, for your body, and for your breath. Thank you so much for class, everyone. 
Feel free to do this flow as many times as you need, really to bring in some breath and some opening for your body. And if it is your first time practicing yoga, this is a really nice slower beginner pace to give you some movement, but to also get the body moving and going for the day. All right, y'all, I'll see you for our next yoga flow. Thanks for joining.